Rick the Road Roller is at the construction site today. He helps Danny the Digger and his other friends by making surfaces flat and safe to drive on. Without him, vehicles would have a very bumpy ride. Rick can flatten soil, sand, concrete, tarmac or even gravel. Ah, it looks like Celia's filling that deep hole with concrete. When concrete dries, it's rock hard and good to build on. Oh no, look out Rick, don't roll into that concrete, it's only just been poured and it's far too deep. Uh oh, too late, oh dear, Rick is stuck and Caroline the Crane's at another job and she's not here to pull him out. This looks like a job for Helen the Helicopter. Go, go, Helen! Let's get you back to the garage and fix you up. Garage roof open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Did you enjoy your flight, Rick? Let's take a good look at you. Oh dear, you're well and truly stuck in that concrete. Don't worry, the mechanicals will get you out in no time. Go, go, Mechanicals! It must have been an awful shock. To get stuck in concrete, that hardens like rock. Please don't worry, without a doubt, the Mechanicals jackhammers will break you out. There, as good as new. Let's go outside and test your roller to make sure everything's in full working order. Careful Mechanicals, stand well back, we don't want you getting squashed. Ok Rick, squash those shapes. The first shape to squash is over here, a big round ball we call a sphere. Rick rolls it flat and then we find, a circle has been left behind. A big tall pointy pyramid second shape that Rick has hid. Rick rolls it flat and now we've found a triangle left on the ground. This one has six faces all the same, a cube is its name. Rick rolls it flat and now down there we have a perfect flattened square. The final one to be destroyed, a shoebox shape. It's a cuboid. Rick pushes down, the shape is mangled and now we have a flat rectangle. Very impressive Rick, looks like you're back to your old self again. You better get back to the construction site, Danny the digger will be worried about you. I'm glad we could get Rick out of that concrete and back to normal. He'll have to watch where he's going in future, so that he doesn't get into any more trouble. See you all again soon. Bye! Hello everyone! We've got a real problem at the garage today. Rick the road roller hasn't got any roads to roll at the construction site. He's really bored and now he's here flattening anything he can find. Hey, that's my toolbox. Rick. We really need to find something useful for Rick to do before he causes any more damage. Hello Vicky. Vicky the ice cream van's visiting us today too. She's looking for something new to sell to people at the beach. 
ice creams and lollies are okay as a treat, but Vicky wants to sell something a bit healthier as well. Come inside the garage, Vicky, and I'll show you what we've got for you. Check out the Rainbow Smoothie Trailer 3000. It can hold six different types of smoothie, made with yummy, healthy fruit. It's the perfect drink to cool people down during a hot day at the beach. What's the matter, Vicky? Don't you like it? Oh, I see. You like the smoothie trailer, but it's empty. Hmm, how are we going to make the smoothies? My truck friends can deliver the fruit, but we need a way to squash it into juice. That is a problem. Can you think of anyone who can help us to squash the fruit? Rick! Of course! That solves both our problems. Rick gets something useful to squash and Vicky gets her smoothies. We need a platform for Rick to stand on so that he can squash the fruit. Then we can park the smoothie trailer underneath to catch the juice. This sounds like a job for the Mechanicals. Go, go Mechanicals! While the Mechanicals are building the platform for Rick, let's have a look at the yummy fruit that my truck friends are delivering. Helen the helicopter is carrying a load of giant watermelons. Florence the forklift has crates of juicy oranges. Dylan the dump truck is carrying lemons, pineapples and mangoes. Trevor the tractor has a trailer of crunchy apples and furry kiwis. Sid the skid loader is loaded up with blueberries, grapes and plums. And Max the monster truck has boxes of tasty bananas and delicious ripe raspberries. Let's make some rainbow smoothies. Let's get squashing. We'll start with red. Oh no, Rick's crushing green fruit instead. Oh, now I see why he was so keen. Inside the watermelon is red, not green. Now here's a fruit with nothing to hide. It's called an orange and it's orange inside. It's the juice I love the most. It's yummy with my morning toast. Lemon, pineapple and mango. Rick squashes them up. The juice is yellow. Watch the pipes as the liquids flow into the trailer down below. Next, I think it must be time for apple and kiwi and a hint of lime. The best juice colour I've ever seen. Just like me, a lovely green. Now I don't know what to do. Blueberry juice isn't really blue. So let's add grapes and then a plum. A purple smoothie's just as fun. Just one more box of fruit to go. Squash those raspberries nice and slow. Add some bananas and it's ready to drink. This final one is super pink. Fantastic! Well done everyone. Those smoothies look great. Before you head off to the beach, Vicky, I think we should do a taste test. Mmm, -mm, these are yummy. The people at the beach are going to love these healthy fruity drinks. Thanks for joining us at Gecko's Garage today and helping us to make delicious smoothies. See you again soon. Bye. Hello everyone. It's the day of the Truck Cup Final. I hope you're all as excited as we are. 
It's a five-a-side match between the construction trucks and the regular trucks. And I'm the referee. The construction trucks are going to play in yellow. So they're already the right colour. But the other trucks are all different colours. So for today's game, they are all getting painted blue. Everyone looks great, but there's something missing. I know, football players usually have a number on their shirt. Let's use even numbers for the yellow team and odd numbers for the blue team. I wonder if Maisie and Sid have finished getting the pitch ready. Wow, the pitch looks fantastic. Well done, Maisie. Well done, Sid. I've got the football, and here come the teams. Is everyone ready to begin? Three, two, one. The yellow team has the ball. Danny passes it to Rick. Oh, no. Rick's flattened the ball. I hope the Mechanicals can pump it back up again. Well done, Mechanicals. That's a yellow card for Rick. The blue team get the ball. Max has the ball. He's nearly at the yellow team's goal. Oh, no. They have George as their goalkeeper. He's enormous. He fills up the goal. Can Max get past George? Yes! He's done it! Max scores a goal! 1-0 to the blue team. Trevor's got the ball. He's slow and steady, but... Oh no! Ryan has taken the ball! Look at him go! Brilliant dribbling! It's like the ball is glued to his tracks! Hang on a moment! He's attached the ball to his chain! That's not fair! That's a yellow card for Ryan! The blue team get the ball again. Rebecca's got the ball. She passes to Fiona. Hey, Fiona's using her flashing lights to get the yellow team to move out of the way. That's not allowed. Yellow card for Fiona. The yellow team get the ball. It's Danny on the ball now. He passes it to Florence. It's all down to Florence now. Can she score for the yellows? She weaves past Fiona. She weaves past Max. Vicky's in goal, but she can't stop Florence. It's a goal for the yellow team. That's one goal each. And that's the final whistle. Both teams have scored a goal, so it's a draw. What a fantastic game. It was a draw, so everyone's a winner. They can all share the trophy. Should we keep it at the garage? Everyone looks so happy. Well, almost everyone. Maisie and Sid don't look very happy. Ah, uh, I think they've seen what a mess the grass is in after all that driving around. Sorry. Don't worry, Maisie and Sid. The grass will soon grow back. Thanks for joining us for the Truck Cup Final today. I hope you had as much fun as we did. See you again soon. Bye. Danny the Digger and his family are working very hard on the building site today. It rained last night and now the building site is covered in thick brown mud. Danny and his family look very tired and very muddy after all their hard work. You can't even tell who's who. I think it's time to get cleaned up. Danny, Caroline, Ryan, Celia. It's time to bring everyone over to Gecko's garage 
so that you can get all cleaned up in our truck and car wash. How many yucky, mucky construction vehicles need cleaning up today? Can you help me count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Ten muddy construction vehicles needing a wash. Let's start cleaning you all up so that we can see who is who. One at a time, into the car wash. Smallest construction vehicle first. Our first vehicle's the smallest, but she more than pulls her weight. It's Florence the Fabulous Forklift. She helps lift pallets and crates. The second through is little too, but his talent never ends. Tiny Sid, the skid loader, loves helping all his friends. Three is waving her scooping arm. You really can't have missed her. It's Mia, the mini digger. She's Danny's little sister. Vehicle 4 won't let you down, even when things get bumpy. It's Rick, the reliable road roller. He stops roads being lumpy. I think we all know number 5, even if he's covered in gloop. That's right, it's Danny the Digger, with his brand new Extra Scoop. Number six is in a fix, all muddy, tired and glum. It's Celia, the cement mixer, with her churning, spinning drum. Number seven really makes a mess when he carries things around. Yes, it's Dylan the dump truck. Always tips stuff on the ground. And number eight loves breaking things. Always has a smashing time. It's Ryan the wrecking ball crane. So there's just two more left to rhyme. Our ninth friend is... Uh-oh! Oh dear, this is a problem. The two largest vehicles won't fit in our truck wash. They're far too big. We're going to have to wash them another way. This looks like a job for the mechanicals. Go, go, Mechanicals! Our ninth friend's too big for the truck wash. She's so giant there just wasn't room. It's Caroline, the mobile crane, with her telescopic boom. We've already cleaned up one dump truck, but now there is one other. George, the giant dump truck. He's Dylan's big, big brother. Fantastic. Everyone looks shiny and clean. Now you're all washed and clean, you can get a good night's sleep before getting muddy all over again tomorrow. Fantastic, Helen. Now, slowly put Millie down over there, on the left. Oh, hello everyone. Don't worry, there's nothing wrong with Millie the motorbike. 
These vehicles are helping Helen with her training exercises. It's important for Helen to practice lifting different vehicles and placing them down without hurting them, so that she can rescue vehicles in a real emergency. Helen's lifting each vehicle and placing them in a special order. Can you guess what the order is? That's right, she's sorting them by size. Starting from the left, we have the smallest vehicle first. Millie the motorbike, Rick the road roller, Max the monster truck, Rebecca the recycling truck, Fiona the fire truck, and... Oh, there should be one more. Ah, here he is. Bobby the bus, just in time. Bobby's the biggest vehicle here. Helen, can you please lift Bobby to the end of the line? Oh dear, Helen, I think there's something wrong. Your winch cable looks like it's about to snap. Ah! Oh dear, oh dear, that wasn't supposed to happen. My arm is sore, but I'll be okay. Oh, Helen, you look badly hurt. I'll get Florence the forklift to lift you back up onto your skids and we'll take a look at you. The skids are a helicopter's feet. Helen rests on them when she isn't flying. Your skids seem okay, but your rotors have been damaged. Your winch cables snapped, and you're covered in scratches. This looks like a job for the Mechanicals. Go, go, Mechanicals! I'm really sorry, Helen. You're in such a sorry state. The Mechanicals will fix you up, and you'll soon be feeling great. They'll swap your broken rotors, spray your scratches, and much more. Fit a thicker cable to your winch. Far, far stronger than before. Fantastic! Now you're all fixed up, let's head back outside and test your tough new winch out. Let's try sorting the vehicles by colours of the rainbow, starting with Fiona the red fire truck on the left. Next is Max the orange monster truck. Do you know who comes next? That's right, it's Rick the Yellow Road Roller. After Rick, it's Rebecca the Green Recycling Truck. Who's next? That's right, it's Millie the Blue Motorbike. And last, but definitely not least, it's Bobby the Purple Bus. Careful now, Helen, nice and steady. Brilliant. The mechanicals have fixed you up and made your winch even stronger. You can lift Bobby up no problem. And now the vehicles form a perfect rainbow and they match the real rainbow up in the sky. Beautiful. Thanks Fiona, Max, Rick, Rebecca, Millie and Bobby. Bye. Here come our construction truck friends, heading to the construction site. They're going to help us learn to count to ten today. Let's count them. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Come on, team. Let's get to work. Can you help me count the trucks whilst they're doing their important jobs? Here's vehicle number one. 
hits Celia with her churning drum. Florence is vehicle number two. She's got a very important job to do. Danny is vehicle number three. He's digging a hole to plant a tree. And here comes vehicle number four. Mia helps Danny to dig some more. Rick the road roller is number five. Flattening out that tarmac drive. Dylan the dump truck is number six. He's loaded up with tons of bricks. His giant brother George is the number seven truck, hauling an enormous load of muck. Ryan is vehicle number eight, smashing down walls with his heavy weight. Caroline the Crane is number nine, lifting up our Gecko's Garage sign. Sid the Skid Loader is number ten, always ready to help his friends. Are you ready to count them one more time? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten helpful construction trucks. Thanks for helping us count today. That was great fun. See you again soon. Bye. If you love this video, tap here so you're the first to know about my latest videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.